On this President's Day, there's a former president that is certainly on the minds of many tonight. Jimmy Carter. It was announced over the weekend that the 98-year-old was has chosen now to enter home hospice care rather than receive future medical treatment. Carter was the 39th president of the United States, serving in the Oval Office from 1977 to 1981, at what turned out to be a pivotal time for the nation. And WJZ investigator Mike Halgren joins us now live tonight with some of the reaction from Carter's hometown of Plains, Georgia. Mike, what are you hearing tonight? Vic Rick, so much love for this native son. Jimmy Carter was shaped by the values of this small town, and he in turn shaped the community. A lot of tourism here, and you can see on Main Street the presidential seal on one of the buildings. Mr. Carter right now is about a half mile from where I am at his family compound. He's being made as comfortable as possible and surrounded by those closest to him. Former President Jimmy Carter rested at home on this President's Day, joined by his wife Rosalind and other family and friends. CBS News spoke to Carter's personal pastor, Tony Loudon, shortly after he visited with the 98-year-old. He's convinced that he's going to a better place. Loudon spoke at the Baptist Church in Plains, Georgia, where Carter once taught Sunday school. I am so blessed to be in JC's life. So blessed. To be around true grace. Carter's name and image are just about everywhere here in his hometown, where he's lived for more than four decades since leaving office. Family and friends are now reflecting on his contributions to the world. All the people that love him and respect him and come here, it's just time for us to step up, you know, and, and carry on that legacy. Those who never met Carter are also paying their respects with a visit to Plains. I hope. Um, it's a peaceful journey for him and his family is, you know, we, we um, wish them well. Others stopped by the Carter Center in Atlanta this President's Day weekend. When I think of Jimmy Carter, I think about his efforts outside of the spotlight after the presidency. In some ways, to me, that kind of really reflects the real nature of a person, the real heart of a person. Those remembering Carter's many accomplishments say his heart and good deeds will live on, inspiring others after his final chapter comes to an end. And Carter's niece told me today that her uncle was a force for good in this world, and she says we need that now more than ever. Reporting live in Plains, Georgia, Mike Helgren, WJZ. Mike, great coverage today. Thank you, Carter.